When I first started eating a carnivore diet, I couldn't help but notice in the carnivore groups that I joined on Facebook, as well as here on YouTube, that there were some very judgmental carnivores around. Someone might just mention that they had some garlic powder or something on their steak and boom, they get jumped on. That's not carnivore. Well, what do the carnivores that this diet is named after in the animal kingdom eat? And what is a hyper carnivore diet? Hi, I'm Sue and I'm on a mission to share the benefits of a meat-based carnivore or hyper carnivore diet, as well as sharing my experiences with some of the things that others don't talk about, like chronic diarrhea and what I'm learning. So if that interests you, stick around. So what is a carnivore diet? There seems to be differing opinions and varying levels of anality, is that a word? <laughs> around what should and shouldn't be eaten on a carnivore diet. As I alluded to at the beginning of the video, the judging of others within the carnivore community can be a little disheartening or kind of disappointing, a little bit cultish even, you know? My view is that we're all on this journey for our own reasons, our, our own healing, and we're actually all a little different in the way our bodies respond to food. We're also often in a very different starting place with our health, our goals, and our commitment to eating specific foods. But from my own personal experience, my husband's experience as well, and what I've seen online, even a mostly meat diet can have amazing health benefits. So I guess the question is, how anal does one have to be? We each get to choose what goes in our mouths, and that's our choice. It's our life, our body, our decision, and for some reason, there are people out there, though, who seem to think that it's okay to make judgment and to try and bully, into others, bully others into complying with whatever version of carnivore they deem to be correct. So which version do you ascribe to? Which version of carnivore is the correct one? Is it red meat, salt and water? Or how about all meats and seafood, perhaps? Um, what about just all animal products, including dairy? Or how about meat and some berries? Or dun dun dun, meat, fruit and honey. I can hear it now. Fruit and honey, But do carnivores eat plants or fruits or honey? Some do. The word carnivore literally means meat eater. But most of the animals that we generally consider to be carnivores are actually hyper carnivore. There are some obligate carnivores that eat no plant material, but most do, even if they don't mean to. We've all seen our pet cats and dogs eating grass, for example, and dogs, I mean, they'll pretty much eat anything, even though they're considered to be carnivores. The wild cats, like lions and tigers, often eat the plant material that's in the stomach of their prey. So while most of their diet is meat, they do eat some plants. They are hypercarnivore, and a hypercarnivore is an animal whose diet consists of over 70% meat. They cannot properly digest vegetation usually, but they do eat a little. And when it comes to honey, there are carnivores, carnivorous animals that eat honey. So bears were considered to be carnivores until recently, and they eat honey. But there are other carnivorous animals that partake of a bit of the, bit of the sweet stuff as well, often because they're actually after the bee larvae. So these are honey badgers, martens, skunks, honey buzzards, and there's more. My old bull mastiff dog, who's long gone now, but she ate everything and loved fruit, would probably have eaten honey if I'd given it to her. So if we eat some vegetation under 30%, then that makes our diet a hyper carnivore diet, which is simply a carnivore diet because carnivore simply means meat eater. Not one who doesn't eat any plants. And I'd just like to say that I don't eat honey personally, but I do believe it's personal choice. I do eat some berries off and on, but not even close to 30% of my diet. And who knows, I might decide to try some honey at some point or not when my body's healed and my metabolism's all working properly. And while I have to say that fruit and honey probably isn't going to be ideal for anyone whose metabolism is broken, it's probably still better than a standard diet. So although this is all a little pedantic, I just wanted to clarify this for those who are new to a carnivore diet or who are looking and wondering, and although most of the carnival community online is amazing, I'd like to invite those judgmental people to stop trying to bully others into what they believe is the right way to eat. I mean, come on guys, live and let live. Just eat meat and thrive, that's it.
Thank you for watching and if you have any questions or comments far away below, don't forget to like and subscribe. I thank you for watching. Goodbye for now.